Hello everybody! Today we are going to present you a new version of oscilloscope and signal generator application. We've done lots of improvements regarding user interface and oscilloscope functionalities. Also, I would love to introduce you with our very first Red Pitaya intern. She will show you many features of our new oscilloscope app. Hi guys, I am Sana and I came from the French engineering school Polytech Lille. I am here to present you the new oscilloscope and signal generator application. So let's begin. Here I have a red pitaya connected to the power supply and we will use the Wi-Fi to connect it to our computer. Um, the input channel is also connected to the output one so we can generate and uh, observe our signal. This is the new main page of Red Pitaya web user interface. As you may have noticed, it looks quite different from the old one, but the functionalities are still the same. On the left side is the application selection area. Here is the list of all installed applications on your Red Pitaya. Below that you can find the button for installing new ones from our application marketplace. Clicking on Desired Instruments Applications opens short description of the selected instrument and enables you to run it. To run application, simply click on Run button on the right. Here we go. As you can see, the new interface is much more professional and it has a standard scope layout. Auto scale and stop run controls are on the top menu bar. Below top menu bar is the view of plotted respecting the buffer size. Of course, in the center is the grid plotting area. At the left side of the grid window, you can find traces, markers for signals offsetting. Below plotting area are information about Volper division settings for each channel, trigger level, trigger delay, time per division settings and sampling rate. The joystick controls are for volt and time per division settings. On the right side are the selection and setting menus for each channel. We also added nice cursor feature. So let's generate some signal and see what happens. I will go to the out one settings, set the amplitude, frequency, select show to see what we are generating and click on. Ok, the purple trace is our generated signal and the yellow one is the input. We can change volt and time per division to get a better view. I can change the offset, make some measurements, volt peak to peak and frequency will be enough. Maybe someone would like to see absolute value of sign signal. For that we can go to math channel, select in 1 first input, operator, and then it's done. So that was Sana. I hope she explained everything well for you guys. Don't forget the new stuff in our Red Pitaya web store. Goodbye.